in this video, we are going to talk about Uno sa Yatsura 2022, episode 6. Yeah, of the number still laughing. And yeah, it's a good reason, guys. So, keep on watching. Ever wonder why the crowd uh, was still laughing? Well, I'm going to pre-frame uh, this, this review. It's a totally hilarious episode, guys. But, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First order of business, the thumbnail. I'm cute new woman, no? <laughs> Well, this came about when, during the post credit story, right? Yeah, I, we, I think we're free to talk about the post credit story since it has no bearing on the overall storyline of the anime. Talagam, uh, talagam, it's just, just to give the audience some extra laughs before it ends. Parang ganyan yun. Everybody kasi took a mistook Ataru's um, statement of retiring as in he's going to retire as the main character of uh, Apurose Yatsura. Okay? hilarious <laughs> na So everybody is now gunning for that position. So lahat ng characters ng uh, yeah, practically ng buong o ng buong ha, ng buong Apurose Yatsura storyline whether it be Original or reboot, the dudes are all And all of a sudden, what? Long says that she's the main character. She probably has the only, um, the only strong case for Akaru's replacement as the main character. She has been the poster girl of this anime. Well, it's a, well, it's not a franchise, cause uh, it's been a franchise for uh, for so many decades now. Cause na karon na of course, the original series, nagkaroon na ng OVA, nagkaroon na ng apat na pelikula ito eh. Kulang na lang, live action to. So, yeah, she's got a strong case. In, uh, in, in the early days of anime conventions, siya ang isa sa pinakamadalas na i-cosplay. Si Long. And, like I said a while ago guys, she is the poster girl of this anime. She's the most recognizable character. And yeah, a, f uh, a few newbies to the anime would actually mistake her for the main protag. Pero talagang main protag dito ay si Ataru. Well, yeah. Uh, at, hmm, talagang incomprehensible na talagang yung pagiging manyak ni Ataru. <laughs> I gotta admit. So, I would be an idiot if I don't feature her as a thumbnail. Come on, guys. She's hot, okay? <laughs> she is hot. Ose Yatsura is one of the OG edgy animes because of love. Whether we admit it or not. So with that in mind, right? Let's now get to the nitty gritty of this episode. Pecs! We can, uh, I can personally say that it's, um, it's a two and a half story type of uh, type of episode. Bakit? Kasi because of because of the post credit story. Talaga post credit siya. Kasi a post credit story can be can either be relevant or totally irrelevant to the uh, to the to the intended storyline of an anime. This is a classic case of not being not being totally relevant. Eh, no. Pero Pabalik tayo sa pacing. Multi-story format, comedy. So, talagang mapilis yung pacing. <laughs> Alright? If you're not into comedy animes, do not watch the Uro Sai Do not watch the Uro Sai Yatsura reboot. Alright? But, who doesn't? Who doesn't want to get, who doesn't want to get their, uh, their own dose of laughs during the day? Do I have complaints? Absolutely not! Alright? I was well, as if hindi pa ako natatawa sa reboot na to. I was again laughing my ass off from start to finish. So the pacing of this episode served it really well. You wouldn't get the jokes, the puns, and even the um, the slapstick moments kung babagalan ng baby production ito. Ah ah. The moment they do that, sira ka na ang pangalan nila. So naman! Well, the story format. So, uh, the biggest question of the first story is when Ataru starts hitting on Ben 10. 
yung character na medyo hindi tayo familiar last time, last uh, last review. Yup, that same that same character. This is the gear shift that um that uh, that will make the current generation of anime fans think that um uh, Ataru's um Ataru's sleaziness makes him funny. All right. So, and it also confirms that Ataru is a total sleazeball. <laughs> second gear shift, the, the biggest one of the second story. Of, it involves Ataru again. When he meets uh, Love's best friend from Neptune, si... Thank you, Lau. Si Uyuki. The ice, uh, the ice princess. Umira na naman ang magkamanyaki si Ataru rito. <laughs> Which results in another hilarious moment. So these two gear shifts that I saw. Well, whether we like it or not, bitin. Pag ito lang nakita nyo sa, sa, sa episode na to. Alright? Bitin. You would not get the um uh the overall storyline of the episode if you just watch these two gear shifts. Alright? Because the results of these two gear shifts are so hilarious. Okay, it's not enough if you watch just these two gear shifts. No, no can do. Please, utang na loob para awa nyo na. Alright? Just watch the whole episode. Plot lines. Planchado ang plot, guys. Uh, again, another well ironed out plot by David Production. For David Production to um to uh to deviate a little bit by incorporating a multi-story format in each episode, wow. They they took a gamble, right? But it goes to show you how uh, how ingenious David Production can be when it comes to anime adaptations. The plot of these three stories in this one episode is so well ironed out. Kasi, um, siguro, other studios would put the third story as the second story. No, pangit. Alright? Kasi, may transitioning yung first and second story. There's a scene there that ties both together. At hindi ko na sasabihin yung kung ano. Panoorin nyo nila. Alright? Meron mo na eh. Meron transitioning between the first and second stories. Okay? But, you you can't say it's a clean plot. Kasi, although may, may smooth transition, it's still two stories. Two separate stories. Right? It's still two separate stories. But, oh, it's well ironed out. David Production did a swell job. Another swell job with this one. With, uh, with this anime. So, wow. That's all the day production. Talagang, they are doing justice to the original Uro Sei Yatsura. And with a, with a, with, wow! Talagang super well ironed out ang, ang plot ng episode na to. Uh, shut up na ako as to the plot. So base, flow, and plot, they simply, wow, well, they, they just simply came together for this episode. Alright? Talagang, can someone give David Production an award for uh, for uh, for the Uro Sayatsu review already? Kaya six episodes pa lang. <laughs> that's that, that's all I can say right now. So Uro Sayatsu 2022 episode six. Tigalan mo na. Yeah, no brainer. For I'm sure most of you. Um, were were too young, or haven't been born yet when the original Urusei Yatsura was uh was first aired. But I gotta admit, I only saw the original the original series in during the two thousands now, because uh, it was at the height of Rumiko Takahashi's popularity because of Inuyasha. We all know that Inuyasha is her is her uh, is her masterpiece. But Urusei Yatsura was was the one that shot her into um uh what's called this 
what gave her is what gave her cult status during the 80s. Alright? So by the time Rock and Roll Half came out in 1989, yung anime adaptation on people, people at that time already uh, have already related to to uh, to to Senpai Takahashi's work because of Uro Sayatsu Rock. And now David Production is rebooting it. They're doing a swell job. Okay? So, we'll just have to wait for the next episode. And while you're at it, what's the next review? Alright? So again, Urusei Yatsura 2022, episode 6. Two months old.